We're here with Rocky Battelle, the founder of Rocky Battelle Premium Cigars, smoking one of his new blends. Rocky, thanks for being here. Dave, great to be here. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about blending, because you have so many different cigars over your history of making cigars. What's it like making a blend? What goes into the process and where does it begin? So, you know, I love food and I love cooking. So the way I look at it, blending a cigar is like making a great recipe. And the more ingredients you have, the easier it is to make different recipes, right? And that's why we have so many different cigars. Everyone goes, you got so many different blends. And so, well, I love making new, cool stuff that tastes different. Does it start with a, with a tobacco leaf? Does it start with a flavor in your mind? So the first thing we think about is the taste profile we want to make. Whether we want to make a mild cigar, mild to medium, medium to full, full body cigar. So we start with that. So typically, I like to make cigars that are medium to full. Um, because they suit my palate and I make stuff not for the consumer, but for what I like. And so then we start with the wrapper. The first thing we think about is what's a really, really good wrapper, what's out there that's unique and different. And right now, one of the one of my favorite wrappers is San Andreas from the San Andreas region in Mexico. Depending on the primings that you use on the filler, it changes the strength changes the character, it changes the flavor profile, and then you make the cigars, and when you smoke them in Honduras or Nicaragua, the cigars always taste sweeter than when you bring them back to the United States. So you have to anticipate how that cigar is gonna change. Absolutely, so when you make it right off the table, it's got a lot of humidity, it tastes very different. When it takes three, four months, the humidity go away, the cigar actually gets earthier, you lose a lot of that sweetness. The altitude, I think, adds to the sweetness. I don't know why, but I can swear that cigars that smoke in Nicaragua and Honduras stay sweeter than I bring them back home. How long does it take to go from that first spark of an idea where you start working with the tobacco to actually getting that final blend and getting it to the consumer's hands? So most of the time we make up to like 100, 120 blends. It takes that many different blends Ironically, the first time we made a blend on the vintage 1990, mm-hmm. when we got those old tobaccos that I bought from UST, the 12-year-old broadleaf, 10-year-old Sumatra, it was the first blend that I ever made. Like this, you know, for this, for example, this is a San Andreas wrapper. Um, it's got fillers from our farm in Esteli and Condega, and then it's got a broadleaf binder on it, and it's a double binder. So, um, how long did it take to make this one? So this took us, I think it was blend number 68. Uh, you know, we have another cigar, LB1, and that was the code for it called LB1. It was just a code blend. So it does take us up to 100 different blends, and then we'll smoke them, and then there'll be two or three that are right in the ballpark, and you can't figure out. We'll have differences of opinion, who likes which one, and, and then you come down and you play with it, play with it, and you'll tweak the binder, you might change it. Sometimes it gets worse, sometimes it gets better. Uh, you'll change the filler on it, you know, add a little more of this, a little more of that. Sometimes it gets worse and uh, you just play with it. It's a matter of just smoking and enjoying and seeing what you like. Are you working on blends all the time or is it like a cyclical process, seasonal? I, I probably work on blends about two or three times a year. And um, we start the process in, um, right after the trade show. And uh, we work on stuff two years out because it does take that long to make the blends, work on them, let them sit, age them, try them, play with them, kind of remake the blend, change the blends, tweak it, let the cigars sit. So, you know, we're already working for stuff for 2021. If I asked you, what is your house style? What's the house style of a Rocky Patel cigar? What would you say? You know, much like my wines, I like kind of a medium to full, richer cigar, a cigar that's got a lot of character, a lot of layers, a lot of different flavor profiles. It's complex, but at the same time, balanced. So I like a richer cigar. You won't, I don't think you rarely see me smoking Connecticut Shade Wrapper or something that's on the lighter style. Even when I wake up in the morning, boom, I go right to, you know, a richer, fuller flavored cigar. That's what I enjoy. Like this one, this one's got some flavor. Yeah, like our Scotch and wine. You know, I like the Eileys, I like a big Brunello, Super Tuscan, same with the cigars. Smoking cigars with Rocky Patel. Rocky, thanks for being here. Great to be here, Dave.